Hey, good morning, friends. Pastor Jason here with our Tuesday check-in. And hey, just 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 gotta ask, friends, how's that stone moving coming? I know it's only been two days since Easter, and Pastor An An Angie pre presented us with with our challenge. But I think think it's a good one. I think it's something that we shouldn't put off, or something that we shouldn't you know, try to forget uh, about, you know, what's what's that stone in our life? What's that barrier for us? What's that, what's that obstacle for us? What's getting in the way for us or for our co community or for our fam 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 family? What's that roadblock? You know, what's keeping us sealed in? She gave us a lot of great options of big stones that we can address on Sunday you know and there are some stones that Jesus has to move for us or some stones that God has to come and intervene to move but but the call to us each individually to be stone movers as well don't know about you friends it res resonated deep deep inside of me how we're called to do the same kind of things that Jesus did, removing barriers, removing obstacles, rolling away stones. It really hit home as we sat down for dinner Sunday, Sunday night when Brooks and Declan were the first two to speak up and asked us what stones that we were going to try to move. I thought it was so cool. I thought it was so cool to have our 10 and our eight year olds be, be the first ones to speak up about, hey, this is what Pastor Angie talked about today. So what stones should we work on? And I think they, they were genuinely asking Melinda and I for our input. In terms of what do we think that they can be working on in terms of moving stones in their young lives? It was a wonderful moment of conversation for us there over the dinner table. And we, we really got to talk about, about keeping things in perspective, about not letting fear get out of hand, about being patient, speaking kind, kindly, which co coincidentally, when we gave them the chance to suggest some, some stones for Melinda and I to work on, um, there were echoes of those same things. There was no finger pointing, it wasn't hurtful, it's just the four of us as a family gathered around thinking about, okay, what, what are the stones that we're dealing with right now? What are, what are the things that always kind of kind of seem to get in our way? And can we devise a plan to work on getting those moved? And I share that, friends, and I'll get to the point of our video today, is that if you're having a hard time maybe trying to discern or discover what that stone might be for you that you need to go and attack, that you need to try to go roll away. I think very often it's not some, something that we can or are meant to always figure out on our own. And there might be some other people in your life, some trusted, loving people in your life that you could enter into some conversation with about finding what that right stone is for you. So if you heard the sermon on Sunday and you're kind of struggling, you're still mauling it over, you might need, you might, you might just want someone to talk to about maybe, you know, what stone should be your target. Reach out to your friends and your fam family. Reach out to your pastors, your friends. We, we would love to help you with that. Just like Brooks and Declan were able to bring to life some really great ideas for some stones for our family to work on. There may be some people for you right there either in your home or next door or just a phone call away. You might have some really great guidance and some input for your friends. So I know it's only been two days, but I hope we're still thinking. I hope we're still churn churning. I hope we're still op open to this idea of being stone movers for us as individuals, for our families, for our friends, for our communities, friends. And if you need some help, 
don't be afraid to reach out. I think it's supposed to be another just beautiful day today. Friends, hope you are able to get out and enjoy it some. Enjoy the sunshine and the warmth. Have a wonderful day. Be safe and be well. Remember just how much that you are loved.